suggest what you can do with that promotion. Colonel Dax, you will apologize at once or I shall be placed under arrest. I apologize for not being entirely honest with you. I apologize for not revealing my true feelings. I apologize, sir, for not telling you sooner that you're a degenerate, sadistic old man. And you can go to hell before I apologize to you now or ever again. Since the publication of the book 25 years ago, no one dared to make this movie. It was too shocking, too frank. What sort of casualties do you anticipate, sir? Mm, say, 5% killed by our own barrage. It's a very generous allowance. 10% more in getting through no man's land, and 20% more getting through the wire. That leaves 65%, with the worst part of the job over. Let's say another 25% in actually taking the anthill, we're still left with a force more than adequate to hold it. General, you're saying that more than half my men will be killed. Aside from the inescapable fact that a good many of your men never left the trenches, there's the question of the troops' morale. Don't forget that. The troops' morale? Sir. Certainly. These executions will be a perfect tonic for the entire division. There are few things more fundamentally encouraging and stimulating than seeing someone else die. Heaven's name are they? On the left. Where are the rest? Zero plus one and they're still in the trenches. They're not advancing. Miserable cowards. They're not advancing. The barrage is getting away from them. They're still in the trenches. Yes, sir. Captain Nichols. Yes, sir. Order 75 to commence firing on our own positions. <laughs>